Today we're talking about how to scale your business. Well, first of all, there's a book by Marshall Goldsmith that says, what got you here won't get you there. And it's true because we have to start assessing different things in preparation for the scale. So there's some common problems. Number one, sometimes people scale too early. And what does that mean? When that happens, typically investments are made beforehand and they overspend their budget. The second case is when they wait too late. And what happens there is if you don't scale quick enough and opportunities come in faster than you can handle them, you actually lose opportunities that sometimes you may not get back. So how do I know when I need to scale? So there are a couple things. First of all, look ahead. Is there any disruption happening in the market that you need to respond to? What about any kind of market shifts or customer demands? Number two, fulfillment capability. Are you getting orders more and using up the inventory that you have? So if you are depleting your inventory and you can't meet turnaround times, then those are cues that it's time. And then third are look at your constraints. Again, maybe team. You don't maybe have enough team members to handle the demand. Again, inventory or even resources, whether that's monetary resources or even time. So now let's look at some of the steps. What are the steps that you need to take in order to scale? Number one, evaluate and plan. Get a strategy and do this early and often. So you wanna make sure you have a plan to scale. Number two, find resources, money resources. Determine do you need to reinvest money from the business back into the business or are you in a scenario where you need to look for investors? And that does take time. So we say this process is actually a project in and of itself. Number two is look at your team. Do you need to expand your team? So if so, do you need to hire more people, more employees, or is it a scenario maybe you need to outsource something to a strategic partner? Number three, upgrade technology. When we start growing and scaling, we wanna start automating things. There are always new tools, new tool sets, new apps out that make things easier to automate. Number four, revise processes. So as you grow and scale, you may need to add some processes, maybe you need to revise them and again, automate as much as you can. Number five, increase visibility. So when you begin to scale, you want more people to know about the business and what you're doing. And number six, leverage strategic business relationships that can help you scale. So here are some areas of your business to assess. Number one, customer support. When we start growing and scaling our business, that, t that makes us think we're having more customers. And with more customers, generally comes more calls, more requests. So we wanna be sure that you're prepared for those customer calls. Number two, human resources. Once we begin growing and scaling our team, adding more people, come more people issues. And you wanna be sure that human resources requirements that are regulated by the government are met. You also want to make sure when you do add more people that you define the roles clearly. Number three, marketing. When we again scale, we look to maybe have more marketing campaigns. What do those look like? And then we want to be able to do that for lead generation. We also, once we start generating more leads, we wanna convert those leads to customers. So we tend to look at sales. How do we do that? And once we, do we need to add more salespeople, more sales processes? And will we be doing quotes? What do those quotes look like? Or maybe even statements of work. When we grow in skill, many times we start look, needing to look at other legal requirements, other compliance and maybe even things that are happening in our industry that we may need to ensure that we're complying with. And then number six, finance. Again, if we go to get investment dollars or investors, we need to look at deal structures and how do those payment terms impact the business. And then number seven, operations, making sure 
our business operations and our processes are set such that it can meet the needs to support all these areas, including administration. So if you need a tool that can help you scale your business, then sign up for our software now at projectmanager.com.